today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this super cute rainbow room unicorn. All the band counts and approximate values and colors are going to be down in the description box below. So let's get into the video. The supplies that you will be needing today to make this creation are a hook. I prefer metal tipped because the plastic tipped hooks uh, break um, a lot more they break more easily, <clears throat> sorry about that, and a loom. You will also need bands in the colors of white, black, you can, um, I'm using tie-dye, but you can use just regular rainbow bands. Uh, I got these from Michaels, and also for the horn, I am going to be using gold, and I got the gold off of Amazon. You guys can use just regular yellow if you do not have gold. But without further ado, let's get started. So first, we're going to start off with making the hair extension pieces, and we're going to have to make um, quite a few, and we're going to be using that with your main color. So first, I'm going to go down. I'm going to be going down eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to take one single band. These are single bands, by the way. And we're going to wrap it it around the bottom pin three times like so and we're going to go onto the next peg do the same thing go down eight times one two three four five six seven uh -oh, seven eight and we're going to just tap that band off three times, like so. And we're going to go down one more time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we tap it off. And so now we're going to do the hooking process. And so we're just going to go in through that cap band, grab your bottom band, and hook it over to the next one. And then we're going to do that again. Go in, grab the band inside, and wrap it down or around the next pin. And so we're gonna do that for all three rows. I'm just gonna quickly do this here. And we're going to do the same for the next two rows. Go in through that cap band. Keep going. And the last one you guys can do by yourself. I'm going to stop the video and hook my last row. And I'll meet you guys when you finish. Alrighty, I have finished my three rows when hooking. And so now we are going to take them off the loom. So you are going to remove every single loop right here besides these three, these front three because if you do, it'll fall off or fall apart. So I'm going to take the cap band, just kind of loosen it up. You don't ever want to pull it off like this because then your bands can possibly snap and it puts more stress on the rubber bands. So that's not necessarily good. Alrighty, and so I have this hair strand and I'm going to take off the rest of the hair strands like so, and we do one more, like that. All right, 
right, so now we have the three hair strands and we're going to make one more hair strand using the exact same process. And with these extra bands, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them on a extra hook or my actual hook. If you guys don't have any of that, you can always use a paper clip or a C clip to hold all of yours. So I'm just going to set the, I'm gonna pull them down right here so that they don't come loose. I'm gonna create one last one. So I'm gonna go down eight times. Two, three, four, Seven, eight. Cap that band off at the bottom. One, two, three. And hook it going through the cap band. Hook up the bottom one and keep doing so. Until you have reached the top. And probably the hardest part is just going to be creating all these hair strands and they're not even that hard to make, well for me anyways. Um, they're not nearly as difficult as creating the body. So I have my four hair strands and now we are going to create the rest of the hair strands because that is only these two and these two. And then these bottom two right here are going to be six rubber bands. So we're going to go down and I'm only going to create two of these, but you're going to need to create four. So I'm gonna go down six times, five, six. Wrap that cap band around three times. Create another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cap band around three times, like so. And you guys are going to need to create three more of these, or sorry, two more of these. Um, and be sure that you guys hook them and everything and I'll meet you when I'm done. So be sure to pause the video and get those extra two hair strands hooked and placed. So I have created my four strands of six right here. And now we are going to move on to the tail. And I know you guys are probably gonna be like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna do any more hair strands. Well, these are going to be the final three and they consist of seven rows. So I am going to create one of those with you guys and you guys can do the other two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're gonna cap band so three times. All right, but when you're creating your three and when you're hooking them and everything, be sure to leave them on the loom and don't take them off yet because I have something I'm going to do so that I can connect the tail so all three strands can connect to the tail. So I'm going to just really quickly hook this and then you guys can create your other two tail strands. And again, these are single rubber bands. All right, and so be sure to leave these on the loom and create two more. I've created all three of my um, rows that consist of seven. And I'm now going to take, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna take one rubber band, and before we do that, we're just going to put all of these on our hook. So I'm gonna take these off really quickly. Since this is the tail. All right, 
So I have all three on my hook right here. And now I'm going to take a single rubber band and I'm going to slide each of those onto that single rubber band and reclaim. Uh oh! <laughs> My bad! Oopsies! Accidentally let go of that. Okay, so now I have all of my hair extension pieces on this one hook. I'm obviously not using it. I'm going to be using this hook for actual making the body. But um, until we need them, we're going to set those aside. And now we are going to be using our white and red rubber bands. So first off, I'm going to, so this whole entire design, um, unless I say so, is going to be double bands. And so I'm going to be using four red rubber bands just for the bangs of our unicorn. And so first we're going to take two bands and place them sideways on the left and on the right, like so. And we are now going to take our white rubber bands. I apologize for the noise, I haven't opened these yet. So, there we go. We're going to take two and put them down, like so. Do it on the other side as well. We're gonna go down in the center and down in the center again, like that. And now we are going to go down in the center one last time. And we are going to go down on the sides, like this. Down on the sides again. And then we are going to close off the chin or the face Two vertical bands, like that. And if at any time you get behind or the video is going too fast, feel free to pause, rewind, or fast forward. And now you're going to take another double band, or more double bands of white, and go down, creating the neck for our unicorn. And we are going to go down, the right, down to the left, and we're going to create the body or the torso, and go down on the right and the left, down again, uh oh, what's that doing, let's see what I'm going to do, so we're going to be going down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna do the same on the other side, but we're not going to go down seven times in the middle. So we're gonna go down three, Four, five, six, seven. All right, there we go. And I apologize if there are little black specks on my finger. This paint is chipping right here, so it's kind of weird. Um, but now that we have the main body part, or the body done, we're going to go down in the middle four times. One, two, three, four. All right, there we go. And so these are going to be the legs or the hoofs right here. And um, now we're going to add or cap off the legs with the black rubber bands. I apologize with the crinkling and stuff. And we are going to take a single rubber band, go on the bottom, and we're going to wrap this around four times. So two, three, and 
four. If you have trouble wrapping your cap bands around four times, you can always do uh, three. I just like the look of four. And four. Okay, and so now that we have the hoofs done, we're going to create the arms or the little legs or whatever you want to call them. And we are going to be taking a black rubber band and wrap this around your hook four times like that. And you're going to take two white rubber bands, put it on the tip of your hook like that, and slide that on like so. And we are going to take another two white rubber bands on your hook and slide all that stuff on and over. And we're gonna do that one last time. Two rubber bands, slide that on and over. And that is one arm. You're going to create one more and be sure to pause the video because I am going to go and create that other arm. I'll be right back. My second arm and we are just going to slowly attach that to the right and left pegs on the shoulders. So we're going to just slide that over like that and then be sure to just tug on it a little bit sideways so that it resembles arms. And now we are going to create the um, inward bands or the bands that um, bring these rows together. And what we're going to be doing, or we do, <clears throat> sorry, I cannot speak today. Uh, we're going to be using single bands for this. And so normally you would use a triangle across like this, um, but for this part right here, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So we're gonna go like this, create a triangle, and take the middle and bring it up like that. But for the rest, it's gonna be a normal, regular triangle. So I'm creating triangles. And again, these are single rubber bands, like that. We're gonna skip this front part right here because there's no need for um, center triangle bands. All right, so now we're gonna work on the head or the face, and we're going to be doing the eyes. And in order to attach the eyes, I'm going to be using two purples, two purple rubber bands. Um, these are going to be single rubber bands, and we're going to wrap them around the third peg. Or the second peg, sorry. I'm gonna wrap that around four times. Three if you would like. One, two, three, four. See, that's a little bit of paint that chipped off. Oh, whatever. It's so weird. Alright, and so it looks kind of creepy right now, but trust me, it's gonna look a lot better. So what we're gonna do now is take a single band, place it on top of those, like that, and put a triangle. And now, we are not going to go inside like we normally do. We're going to go on the outside, bring all of those, you can go either one at a time or all, and just slide them on and over. So that's one eye. I'm gonna do the same to the other one. Grab it and bring it over like that. All right, so now we are going to create the horn. That's my little sister. And we're going to just do that triangle bit right there for the face. Um, and the uh, the snout or the muzzle, we're gonna add last when we're finished. So you're gonna take your gold bands for the horn or for, um, uh, or you can take your yellow. And we're going to be creating one, two, three, or five rows. Okay, 
okay and so we're gonna take this wrap it around four times three four like this and this is gonna be a little bit more challenging we're going to double over these single bands so we're gonna double them over like this sorry my little sisters are really loud um and we're going to use them as if they were a regular single rubber band since they're doubled over. And there you go, there's one loop for the horn. And we are going to be doing this six times. And we're going to take another one, single, double it over, and slide that on the note. So we're gonna be creating three more of these. is the third. This will be the fourth. And finally, the fifth. So, go right here. Like this. Bring it on and over. And if you want your horn longer, you can always um, add a few more links. But this is a good amount for me. And now I'm going to just place that right on top here. Like that. So that's going to be the horn. And uh, now I'm going to add the tail. We're going to add the mane when it's time. Uh, it's not necessarily time to add the main because we still have the hooking process to do. So you're just going to place it right there. Ooh, I almost lost my tail there. So be careful. Kind of get it untangled. Like that. Just put it right there. So it's out of your way for the hooking process. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom. We're going to go in through the cat band with the hooks. Hook up. Keep on doing that. Now we're going to go in past that, um, past that triangle band and grab the bottom two, look upwards, past the triangle band, look upwards, and keep on doing that. Alright, and for the middle one, you're going to go past the uh, tail and hook upwards. So just keep on hooking upwards and be sure to stop at the tippity top um, before uh, capping it off. So I'm going to hook the rest of this and I'll meet you guys at the top. Sorry about that guys. Um, I should have edited in to t tell you guys to not stop at the top, be sure to stop at the neck. Um, because I completely forgot we have to add our hair extensions. So, first, what we're going to be doing is going in through the neck and grab the top two. So, I'm gonna grab those. There's a TV show going on downstairs, so it's kind of loud. Man, I cannot grab these. Okay. Mm. There we go. Whew. All right, so I grabbed that. Now I'm going to go in and hook the other top too. So, like that. Hook 
go ahead and hook that one upwards. All right, so now we are going to hook on the small six piece hair extensions and we're going to take two of them. So we're going, what we're going to do is we're going to put two hair extensions on your hook like this and we are going to go in grab the bottom and before you recap it and put it onto here you're going to slide both those hair pieces on and reclaim like that and you're going to do the same to the other side so I'm going to grab these two hair pieces and place them on my hook. And I'm going to go inside, grab the bottom two, and pull on the hair extensions like that. It's going to go a bit, so it's going to be like that. And now you're going to put on the long top hair extension. So you're going to go past the eye cap band. And before you do that, you're going to add on two of the hair extensions. So you slide on those. Uh oh. My bad. I lost grip of that. I'm not the best at hooking, so here we go, slide those on, and reclaim. So you should have a ton of hair piece right there. And then be sure to do the same on the other side. So grab the bottom two, slide on those hair extensions. Smart. Right, so now we're just going to hook the rest of the creation since all the hair extensions are on and stop when we get to here. So I'm not going to pause because it's such a short amount of time when hooking. So there we go. Okay, so now that we're at the top, I'm going to take a single um, color or band color of your horn, so it should be either gold, yellow, or whatever color you use to create your horn. And we're going to go in through every single band and stick your hook outside, so this hook is stuck like that. I'm going to take this gold band, I'm going to slide it through everything, like that. Reclaim, like so. Slip it through each other, creating a slip knot and tug. All right, and um, if your slip knot isn't necessarily tight enough, like mine is, I'm just going to keep my finger here, and we can take off the horse. So I am going to pause the video and um, I'll see you guys when the horse has been taken off. So I've taken mine off the loom and it's not necessarily looking complete because we still have to put on the snout. But first we're going to hide this by this gold band by wrapping it around the horn twice and sliding it all the way to the bottom. See, not even no noticeable. All right, and be sure to tug and stretch out bands um, uh, to get them to be shaped your way or however you would prefer them as. So it's just looking pretty good. Now, what we're going to do when taking this is we're going to take two rubber bands and wrap it around one, two, three, four times, taking another two rubber bands, wrap it around, one, two, three, four times, like that. And now we are going to take a single rubber band, 
and pull every single one onto that. And this is going to be the snake. Alrighty, and be sure to reclaim that. It looks kind of weird right now because we haven't put it on yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my hook through those middle rubber bands like that, grab one end, slide it through, reclaim, slip knot it through like that, and then I'm going to take this end and I'm going to wrap it around the snake. Like that. And tug it a little bit more to get it to look like what I want. And there we go. She's looking really, really cute. I hope you guys love her as much as I do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed your video, or <laughs> not your video, this video, and uh, be sure to subscribe and like, and stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Bye!